I'm sure you must have seen one of these super viral CG product videos on Instagram. Just this year, I've had three or four beauty brands ask me to do this for them. Hundreds of brands are in need of videos like this because they want their products to stand out on social media. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and the fastest way to recreate these viral CGI videos in Blender. This video is sponsored by nobody but i'll gladly and shamelessly plug my ultimate lighting setup here if you are thinking of getting into product animation professionally and you notice your lighting sucks you just get my ultimate lighting setup it's a one click thing copy and paste it i use this lighting setup in basically every single project i'm working on so link is in the description if this is something helpful to you just get it done the first thing you need for this tutorial is a stable video as in a video recorded on a tripod like this you will find every single file i use in this tutorial for free in the description then you need to install fspy. fspy is what will help us match our 3d camera in blender with the actual camera used to record the background video. Click the first link in the description, it should take you to fspy.io. Okay now we are on fspy.io. Just scroll down and click download to download the app. This will take you to a github website. Just go down to fspysetup.exe. Click it and you will download the exe file. When that's done, just click on the exe file and uh, you should install fspy yeah it opens fspy immediately the next thing we need to do is to install the blender add-on so go back scroll down to official fspy importer add-on go to tags click this version that we just downloaded 1.0.3 and you will see fspy blender the version number dot zip click on that after we've done that we can jump into blender this is a new project just a x delete now go to edit preferences add-ons uh install now go to the folder where you installed your zip file and you should see there fspy blender dot zip yeah install add-on and now you need to just check it here to enable the add-on yeah, you're good to go. What that does is when you go to file, import, you have fspy on the list. Now you can import an fspy document. Now let's go back to fspy. In your starter file, you see an HDRI, an image, and then a video. It is still video, nothing much is happening, it's just there, recorded on a tripod. For fspy, you can't upload videos, you have to upload an image. So I also took a screenshot of the video. So just one image. So click the screenshot image and drag it onto fspy you will see it here i like turning off dim i don't like the dim image thing yeah cool okay let's let's turn it on first so you can see so you could see x-axis y-axis x-axis y-axis basically this software helps you find perspective where are the x lines where are the y lines where is the z line if you can plot x y and z you can find anything in the 3d space so depending on the kind of picture you're looking at, sometimes you might, uh, you, you might see lines for X, you might see lines for Y. Sometimes you might see lines for Y and Z or X and Z. In this case, we can see in our image, there is this long line of the pavements. This is say our X line. And there is this long line for the building, our Z line. So you can see there is a clear X and there is a clear Z. Now you need only two to be able to plot this camera point with fspy. So let's pick Z for the second one. See vanishing point axis X and uh, Z. Now let's take our X, put one point here. Put the other side of the point here. Then find another line that could serve as your X vanishing point. You could pick one here and here so you can see it's already like plotting this vanishing point you can see it's going like this yeah so the 3d software will know that oh this is a plane now for the wall let's take this z point put it on this edge put a second one here let's take this other z point let's start here just a vertical part of the image and put this here so you can see it's already plotted if you don't see this gizmo then something is wrong you're not plotting it right but so far you line it up correctly you can see if i move it out of the way 
it disappears all the options disappears here but if i line it up on the z axis z here z here x here x here you have all your details now if you are working on a software other than blender you'd have to copy all these things and impute it in your camera settings but since we have the blender add-on all we have to do is just click ctrl s and save let's save this as a vfx tutorial now we go back to blender file import fspy vfx tutorial import fspy product awesome perfect we have done that is, that is basically all we have basically copied our project onto blender so you can see here this is our camera and this is the angle is focusing on what i like to do bringing the camera up so let's hit g z let's bring the camera up so the plane is lining up with the floor yeah cool before it was under this plane nice okay so it's looking from up here down here so everything we are going to do in blender is going to be from the view of the camera let me show you something first let's go to camera and background images and change your opacity to one so we can see it clearly now if we add a plane shift a mesh plane s to scale click here so you can move things around now you can see if we bring it down we could line up perfectly with the floor great this is the quickest way to do this so what i would like to do is to move it here so we can line up with line up with this guy here s x to scale on the x axis let's move it down here s x scale it a bit more cool now let's go into edit mode hitting tab select edge select here click on this edge also click this move tool so you can see it then drag it on the y-axis until it lines up here cool now we want to copy the way the pavement is so let's do e for extrude z so it goes downwards just a little bit then e for extrude on the y-axis then pull it this way awesome now we can scale on the x-axis so it covers up the entire scene yeah now you can see we have basically made our floor right if we add a different plane uh let's scale it up rotate it on the x-axis rx90 and take it back let's just take it back to this edge outside the camera view yeah this is the fastest way to do this thing just line it up scale it and make sure it matches Cool. go back to our camera view edit mode click on this edge drag it up yeah I think this should line up G X let it line up with building yep cool I don't think we need this side of things so we can just drag this over here perfect now we basically have our wall here and we have our floor here now we can add a cube scale it up a bit let's make sure it's literally on top of the plane yeah and let's add a sphere mesh uv sphere scale it up let's drop it here make sure it's not intersecting oh cool now we can see he you can see how the camera changes right like it stretches the image to fit how the actual camera was recorded now if we move things in the x and y axis you see it follows this line of the road now let's go to render view really quick and change your render engine from ev to cycles nice you can see our image is very dark we can't see anything now the thing about lighting is we have to find a lighting that is exactly matching the kind of environment that we are putting our um, CG image onto. For example, if the environment we took the video in was a city, find an HDRI image of a city. If it was a desert, do the same. If you recorded it inside a room, like an indoor space, 
try to find where all the light sources are so if there are windows there try to recreate the windows in blender if there is a bulb on the ceiling try to recreate the same exact thing just to give that realism there are other ways to do it the more professional way to do it is to get your own hdri image take your own 3d photos and have an actual hdri image of the actual location but we are not doing that here we want to do it really fast we want to do it quick so if you check your startup file i added an hdri image so go to world go to color pick environment texture go find modern buildings yeah this is also outdoor and yeah a lot of buildings around now you can see there is shadow you can see the shadow now there is shadow on the plane so let's let's turn this hdri off render go to film turn on transparent cool now the next thing we need to do and the most important thing is to turn this plane into a shadow catcher so the actual plane disappears and you can only see the shadow click on your plane click on object go to visibility and you see mask shadow catcher just click on it boom and there you have it you have your shadows on the actual image now you can do the same for this guy so he disappears if you are still watching right now, it means only one thing. It means you are gaining value from this video. So please punch the like button for me so others can also gain the same value. From here, you could create whatever you want to do. You could do a rigid body simulation and have uh, your product falling on top of the floor. What you would usually animate in your normal product animation video, just do it in here. So another thing I should point out is make sure the color or texture of these planes are similar to the actual texture of the walls you want to get accurate reflections especially if your product is reflective uh the fastest way to do it right <laughs> here is the fastest fastest way to do it just create a new material color and pick this color just pick the wall color that will make your plane to be the same color the same brown and do the same thing for the floor click on the plane new material and basically pick this exact color that is the simplest way to do it you can make this more complex right you could find the material a texture that has this exact look a texture of a road you can find an actual brick texture and apply in fact i i advise you to do that find an actual brick texture and make it a material for this that would be more realistic and there is even a deeper level if you want to get very very complex and very accurate you can actually project this view as a material onto the plane but we're not going into that in this video <laughs> this is like the simplest easiest fastest way to do it so yeah that's basically it you could add new products here let's add a different model import fbx so i just added a drone a gigantic drone uh let's just line it up with the image let's make it hover above the cube so somewhere here i just added this model right now so if we go back to our camera view Let's turn on this passport view to 100. Viewport display, passport, yeah. So we don't see any distracting thing outside here. Now, if I go to rendered view, I'll be able to see my model, the model of my drone in this image. So you guys should just mess with this, mess around with it. And another thing about lighting is, depending on the age that I use to determine the uh, sharpness of the shadow. So we can't use a sharp shadow. I would advise you to use a different lighting for this. For example, if we add a sun lamp, light, sun, and we change the rotation, you would see that there is now shadow on the floor. Let's increase the strength to 10. If I rotate the sun around, you see that there is harsh shadow, very harsh shadow of our drone, very harsh shadow of our uh, cube. And depending on the rotation, you would even cast a shadow on the wall. Yeah, that's why we have a plane here. So this sphere is casting a shadow on the wall. This drone and this cube is casting a shadow on the ground. But I wouldn't recommend you do this, right? Because in the end, when you are putting everything together, it won't look very realistic because this is an overcast day. You can't see heavy shadows in an overcast day. It's cloudy. But then I guess it still works, <laughs> right? So to render this out, go to your output, click here and add a new name. Let's call this VFX. If I hit render now, 
you would see that I'm rendering a transparent image. So there is the cube, there is the sphere, there is the drone, there are the shadows. Perfect. Now, when I render this all out, all I need to do is to take this into my editing software. That could be DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, After Effects. Let's do this very, very basic with this free software, DaVinci Resolve. First thing I need to do is to drop the video. So this is my video in the background. Next thing I need to do is to drop my render images. So I rendered just one image, but if you are rendering an animation, you should render all 120 frames. So if we just drop this onto this, you can see it immediately. Really dope, right? Now we have come to the end of this tutorial. Go forth and create something mind-blowing and don't forget to tag me. Now this tutorial covers just the technique for a stable background video. If you want me to create an in-depth tutorial for tracking background videos that are in motion, let me know in the comments. Please punch the like button for me, it helps this video reach more people. I'll see you next week.